Hi, we have this interesting integral on the board. We have the integral of ln of square root of x dx. And I want to integrate this using tabular integration or the di method. Before I do that, I'm going to look at a really similar integral that you may have seen before. What we'll look at first is the integral of just ln x dx. So doing this with the di method, we're going to have two columns. We're going to have a column d to differentiate, i to integrate, alternating signs. And then what we do on this problem is we actually add a one, because we only have one function here, and we need to choose. We, we want two columns, d and i, so we want two functions. So now since we don't have a direct way to integra integrate the natural log of x, we'll choose that to differentiate. And then we've created this second function, one, We'll integrate 1, and so then the derivative of ln x we do know, which is just 1 over x, and the integral of 1 is x. So then our answer to this is going to be we just take this first diagonal, x, ln of x, and then we subtract, and then we do this. This line will be its own integral, but if we mul multiplied x times 1 over x is just 1. So we actually have here the integral, subtracting the integral of dx. And so this whole thing is just going to be x ln x minus x plus c. So then what we're going to do, we have here just a slightly, the only difference here in this integral is we're using the square root of x. So we'll do the exact same thing, just using the square root of x. Um, so there's just kind of a small adjustment from this standard integral of ln x. Okay, so now we're ready to integrate ln square root of x using the di method. We'll add our one into the problem. We'll differentiate ln square root of x because we don't really know how to integrate that. And we'll integrate just a one, which is the real trick of this whole problem. Integrating one, we get x. Differentiating ln square root of x. Let's do this off to the side, it's a little weird. So the derivative of ln square root of x is gonna be one over square root of x. But we, we need to use the chain rule on square root of x. Let's just look at that as x to the one half, and then we'll just use the power rule. So when we differentiate this piece, we'll have a half x minus a half, but that's just gonna be one over two square root of x. So we'll put in that part of the chain rule here. Then we can fill this into our table here and we can write that as one over two square root of x times square root of x is just x. So then for our answer, like we did earlier, we use the diagonal in our answer. So we'll have x ln square root of x minus the integral. This piece here is an integral, but x is gonna cancel with x and we're just gonna have one half left here. And integrating one half, well, let's actually let's bring this all down. So we'll have x ln squared x minus a half x plus c, integrating one half. That's our answer. One interesting point, I looked this up on, um, I think I put this in the Wolfram Alpha, and they did this a different way they had, because this can be also written as x ln x one half minus a half x plus c. Then you can bring the half to the front and factor out the half, and you'll have a half x ln x minus x plus c. So that's how they have it on Wolfram Alpha. I think either way is fine. I got this problem from my quiz. It's called Big Integral Quiz. I'll put that in the um, description. It's just a quiz with integrals that didn't fit a normal pattern, so they were just kind of, it's just miscellaneous integrals mostly different or more challenging. So provide a link, hope you check that out.